What's up everybody, Noakis back here for a review for you guys today. This is Secret Admirer. This is a bit of an out of print DVD from what I looked up. Uh, I normally don't look up how much these go for. Now I am going to be reviewing this. This is Secret Admirer from 1985, a R-rated romantic comedy. This is all about high school heartthrob named Michael receives an, an unsigned love letter and he assumes that it is from the knockout prom queen uh, named Deborah Ann or, or as he calls her Debbie who is played by Kelly Preston. Instead, pretty honor student Tony sent it to him. And when Michael accidentally misplaces his letter, the juicy it, it it pretty much gets everywhere. Everybody re reads this letter, thinks it, it 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 is from somebody else, and there are affairs that go on. This is a well done high school film. I really like this movie a lot. I did not know this was out 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 of print. I'm try I'm trying to I'm trying to see uh, how how much it goes for. Uh, this film is very eighties. It is very 80s, and I loved it for that. If if this took itself too seriously, which it does not, uh, it is a, okay, hold on a minute, Admirer, there we go. I know it's on Blu-ray. I know it's on Blu-ray. It comes in a double pack with Class, which is a great 80s movie as well. Uh, Secret Admirer goes for $50, new, 21 dollars used on Amazon. The Blu-ray goes for nineteen sixteen. I'm going to recommend that you buy that film right now. It is a movie that I think you should get. But if you want a good double feature, get the DVD set with class because I just watched that one last year and I loved it with Rob Lowe. Good chemistry between the stars here. Very funny moments. It is rated R. Uh, there's a couple sex scenes in here that that are very R-rated, but the thing is, one of them isn't really a sex scene. It's more of a make-out scene with a very hilarious moment that is one that I'm never going to really forget. Uh, it is something that we, we've seen done before, I'm sure, but the thing is, when it works, it works. The 80s movies charmed me. 80s movies have a certain charm to them. I know we don't like to talk about Lori, but who cares? She did what she did. She owned up to it. She served her time, and now let her get back to what she loves. Have her come back to the acting game. I miss her. I was sad that we didn't get her in at least the last episode as Aunt Becky in Fuller House, but... We got mentions of her, which it's nice that they didn't really write her out of, of, of the show or kill her off. They still mentioned her here and there, which I really love. Secret Admirer is a film that I thought I just needed to get my thoughts out on because 80s movies mean a lot to me. When I see an 80s movie that I've never seen or let alone never really heard of, I looked up Lori's uh, IMDb. And I did not even know that she was in this movie. I saw I saw this film sitting like this on the shelf at the awesome store uh, that I, I I go to with my buddy every once in a while. And I'm like, I got to get that. I did not recognize it. And then I looked at the cover and I'm like, that's Lori Laughlin. I got to get it. Secret Admirer is a great romance film. Definitely good for this time of year in February. One I'm going to suggest you check out. It's staying in my collection. Secret Admirer is getting an A-. Stay tuned for my next review, which is going to be for Corky Romano. See you for that review.